In this video, I'm going to share with you guys how you can add captions. Some people call it subtitle, but I call it caption. Caption is this um, write up your the speech that you read while you're watching somebody's video. Okay, the same thing the person is saying is being written in front of the video down below the video. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you two ways you can use to do this one through your laptop, and the second one through your iPhone or your Android. And why caption is good is caption helps video to go viral. But apart from going viral, caption helps your viewers to understand what you're saying. Most of the viewers that we get on YouTube or social media, other social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook, most of them are not from our country. And because they are not from our country, sometimes some of them might find it difficult to understand our intonation. So captions help them to understand exactly the message you're giving out. So, while they are watching your video, some of them can decide since they don't really understand you very well, they don't get all the information you're giving while you're speaking to them. Now, captions um, helps them to understand it while they are watching your video, they'll be reading the caption or subtitle. So, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can add captions to your landscape video or your portrait video and even make the captions to be following, you know, your speech based on any word you're saying. The caption will be coming out just like that and with different styles. So, we're going to jump right into my system now and I'm going to show you how to add captions through a system and also how to do it on a phone. But I am going to use a free software that anybody can access on your phone and a laptop to do it. So, you're actually going to learn how to create captions for your video for free without paying for any software. So, let's walk into my system. Let me show you. First, we're going to go to the system on and second, I'm going to show you how to do it with your phone. For you to add subtitle in your video, first you must have to install CapCut in your phone or install CapCut in your laptop. Here in my laptop, CapCut has already been downloaded and installed. And um, once you download and install CapCut, the next thing you need to do is go here and um, right click and open CapCut, okay? Or double click on it and open it. Once you open it, you're going to see a window like this. Once you see a window like this, the next thing you need to do is to new project and wait for the software to load. Then come here and click on import and import the video file that you want to um, do the magic, add the subtitle to. Okay. Um, let me say, let me, okay, let me add this video. Uh, let's just use this for an example. Drag this video and bring it here in your timeline. All right. Once the video is here in your timeline, the next thing you need to do is to go to text. Once you go to text, click on it and um, you can see here default effect, text template, auto caption. Now click on caption and you can see here English. If you speak another language, you can select it here. But I'm going to select English because I use English to teach. So, the next thing you need to do is click on Create. Creating Auto Captions. Okay? So, this is going to analyze your video and create the captions. Everything that you said in that video, this is going to create it automatically. But the issue is, after creating it, you have to look into all the words. Play it and replay it and make sure that the words are correct. Because most times, this software will listen to us, we generate captions, but we make mistakes in some words based on our pronunciation and the way we speak. So make sure you go through the whole text which this software generated carefully to make sure everything you said in that video, um, the write-up is very correct. Now we're going to wait for this to finish generating, then we will continue this video. Okay, fine. This has finished creating. Now if you come here and expand this, you can see the text, okay? You can see the text is divided into sections. Now if you click on this, you can see, let's play this. Guys, in this video, you can see there's a, a caption right here. So what you need to do is double click on this if you want to edit this, okay? Double click on this and um, 
what I'm going to do now is to first of all select all the captions and edit all of them. So I'm going to do like this and select every caption. Now once I select every caption, I will just go and um, I like yellow. Let me click on this, double click. Let me first of all select yellow, hold on. Um, okay, it's now selected. Then here you can expand the size of your caption you guys can see but don't make it too big make sure you you know make it in a way that it will fit in very well i'm going to go down again go down go down yes okay okay i think um no let me come here and make it 10 and click okay all right, you can see make it eight, depending, let me make it eight. Okay, so you can also make your full screen and see how it looks. You guys can see, I think this eight is okay. Now, if you expand this timeline, you notice that um, if you click here and um, expand this timeline, you notice that all the text, all the sections, the font has changed before it was white. Click here, you can see. Okay, now you can also go down here a little bit. Okay, make sure you click on the on the um, captions because if, if you click on, a, on an empty space here, um, you're not going to see the window where you can edit it. Now click on any of the captions and you can expand it here. You can rotate, you can do a whole lot of things. Opacity, you can see, you can make it to be um, hidden or you know, very well seen. Okay. Now, thickness, you can see you can, this is 40. You can make the black, you can see the black thickness is, is very vis visible. Okay. And um, you can still remove it completely, but you know, the black is awesome. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it at, let me leave it at 50. It's okay at 50. Select and say 50. That way is okay. Um, there's a whole lot of things you can do here, but um, here as well, you can click here and open and still change this to, to black, as in yellow will be the background and black will be the text. So I'm going to undo. I like it this way. So when you're done, if you play this video, let me share with you how you will notice that the captions just come out. You Let's watch your iPhone. The next one will come out. Okay. Now, if you want the captions to move, this is what you're going to do. But before we go to moving the captions, you can double click on the captions and come here and do some editing. You can see anyone you click is going to bring out the text here. If you double click on anyone, you can see the text. Okay, guys, in this video, okay. Watch. I'm going to share with you. I'm going to share with you. You can see. I'm going to share with you how you can change how you can change your iPhone location to any location you want. How you can change your iPhone location, which is this. Let me click here. How you can your iPhone location to any location you want. Okay, you guys can see that and see the way this text used to come out. They just appear. How you can change your iPhone location. Good. And if you want to make this text to be coming out while you are speaking, this is what you're going to do. Click on any of the text and um, come to animation. When you come to animation, you will see all this. I've not um, installed any of this. This is the style in which the text will be using to come out. I'm going to share. I'm going to share. You can I'm see. I'm just going to download just only this. I'm going to share. Now, if you take your mouse to any of this, you can see. Okay. Like this. Now, what you need to do is I'm going to share, click on this. In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can change your iPhone location. You guys can see. To share with you how you can change your iPhone. All right. So. What I'm going to do is animation. This is the one I selected. So what you need to do is 
bring down this, okay? Select all of them and then come to this animation and select this. Let this be done. All right, expand this again and test it and tell me where it worked and where you can see work. Now we're going to jump right into my system. Let me take you guys on a very simple method. That you can see it comes out like this. Now you can also go and select all these, um, select all these text and come to animation and change it to this. Yes. You can see, you play this video now. Wait, let me go back a little bit. So many other application, this method works on it. You will you see the way the um, captions flings out just like that. So, but the most important thing is going through the caption one by one and making sure, you know, everything you said in the video is just correct. So when you're done changing your font, you can expand the font to change your font, click on any of them. And there are so many things you can do here. Now, after you're done, all you need to do is go to export and export your video. The caption is going to be right inside your video. All right, so let's go back to my phone. Let me show you how you can do the same thing on your phone easily for those of you that don't have a laptop that would like to be creating content. And for those of you that are writing me, telling me that they would like to learn how to create content, please make sure you follow most of these videos because I might not remember to create this thing in my online class unless you people ask me questions. I will only create what comes inside my head or based on what I write out on how you people can create start creating content. But most of these effects that I use, I might not be, um, I might not take it one by one in my online training unless you will ask me a question. When you go to my online um, training and ask me a question, that will make me to create that particular question and add it and send it to everybody that is in that online training. So we're going to go over to my phone now, which is um, the last one. Let me show you guys how it is being done, okay? Now, this is exactly how you can do the same thing in your phone. Go and open CapCut in your phone, okay? Install CapCut from Apple Store or um, Android Store in your phone. Now, once you install CapCut, all you need to do is come to New Project, open New Project, and select the file that you want to, you know, perform this on. Let me select this, okay, and add the file. You can see it's right here in my phone, okay? And the next thing you need to do, if you want to add caption, is to click on text. Once you click on text, all you need to do is just um, come to this auto caption. Once you click on auto caption, okay, my internet is not on. You must have to have your internet on. Let me open my internet and um, let me wait for the internet to connect. It's connected. Let me refresh this. Okay, you can see it's now working and can see all you need to do is click on start and this software is going to do all the work whether it's a portrait video or a landscape video this software is automatically going to do the work for you and get all that you said in that video now you can see done so you can see it has created everything the same way it did on the laptop as well all you need to do is now come to okay um, style Come to style and um, select, you can see, this is the same font. You can still hold these two places and expand it or bring it down to where you want. And that's it, you can change to any kind of color that you want. This same color I showed you guys on my system. It's quite very easy. Once you're done, all you need to do is come to animation if you want the text to be coming out in style. There are so many other features that you can check out here. Um, with your phone or with your laptop. You can see if you click here, you can see how this text came out. If you click here, you can see, this is the same one I checked, you can see. So you can actually do this on your phone. You can see this, the same one that as you're talking, is following your speech. So all you need to do is just, anyone you click, you're going to see the, um, the write-up can come here and delete and edit and make some correction if there's any mistake. And once you're done, you say, okay. Oh, okay. Let me scroll down a little bit. Once you're done, you say, okay. And 
go to the next one make sure you do all the correction you can see drag it down just you know work on it and when you're done all you need to do is let me set this come up here and click on export it will start exporting the file it doesn't take time your phone is quite fast in exporting file and that's it you will create caption for your video like you guys are watching in this video captions are everywhere on this video so it's quite very easy for you to create captions or so-called subtitle i don't know the one you call it some people call it subtitle some people call it captions but i call it captions so guys that is all i have for you guys in this video and if this video was helpful you know what you have to do hit the thumbs up button let me know that you people appreciate the content that i give on this channel so you guys can see how easy it is for you to add captions or subtitle in your landscape video or your portrait video 10 minutes 30 minutes one hour however long your video is you can add captions to your video and make people to understand you better like you guys are watching in this video and if you're watching my video for the first time please my name is Aswiken Nakinsley and on this channel I give you tips and solutions on how to make money online and other relevant tips that helps in our daily online space but during the weekend I make sure I give you updates on new games and app in the virtual reality space so if you wouldn't want to miss any of my videos make sure you hit the subscription button and make sure the notification button is turned on so that you'll be the first to know once i upload a new video i will see you guys in my next video like always you guys should stay creative and remain blessed